After months cruising along the South Pacific, we encounter multiple gorgeous places, but nothing alike Roderick Bay in the Solomon Islands. When we first entered this magnificent paradise, we couldn't believe our eyes. We found the most shocking view of all, a hit shipwreck rising up from the turquoise clear clear waters. What was this giant shipwreck doing in such a rugged bay? Well, let me tell you the story from the beginning. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet, both above and below the surface, and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. A week ago, we left Vanuatu seeking for adventure in new lands. And after 700 miles, here we are, with Peanut, the salty sailor, and a very enthusiastic crew ready to explore the first stop in the Solomon Islands. Looks like we're arriving in a new paradise. We're gonna head over to Florida Island because we got all of our check-in procedures done, which I was stoked because they actually give us four months. So we just spent a little bit of extra time here. So we have uh, a 30 mile little sail. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, right, ready? Yeah. Dave is ready! Listo! Yeah! that I don't know which one was the main topic on the boat when we <laughs> before getting peanut because now like 90% of the conversations involve peanut on it so I don't know I think we all go mad. Welcome to paradise! Holy oh, sh! Sorry for my language, but I mean, I think it's been a while since I haven't seen a, such a landscape and scenery. Like, I just looked out the door and, <laughs> and I saw all these palm trees in the sky growing by in this little canoe, and I just feel super wild and very lost place. Yeah. met a fisherman named John who was fishing on the other side where we were looking for an anchorage and he said he would come with us so we picked him up and we gave him a lift home and now he's going to give us a hand to find a nice spot in front of his village. As soon as we turned the corner we were fixated by the ghost of this once grand vessel now slowly accepting its demise in this pristine bay. Team A, it's an action. It was too hot again to train this morning, so we decided to go in a morning uh, snorkeling to check uh, the reefs around us. Maybe we can make it to the to the wreck and let's see what is there. I've never seen something like that. See those little horns and the, those colors and that big. It's super beautiful. Huh? 
Sadly, these gorgeous starfish are being collected for sea shell trade because of their ornate skeletons, reducing greatly their population. What have you found? It's a magical ball? <laughs> yeah, it looks so good. This bizarre bubble creature, it is one of the largest unicellular organisms on Earth. Not an animal, neither a plant. Experts still don't know a lot about its role in the ecology. We're half on the way, so yeah, maybe 200 meters left. <gasps> Welcome to the World Discoverer, a boat that left 26 years of seafarers and expedition behind since 1974. Did you know that it was one of the first ships to ever transit the Northwest Passage, cruising from the icy shores of Antarctica till the frozen shores of Alaska? But it didn't spend all its days in high latitudes, because several months of the year also completed routes through the tropical South Pacific Islands. Who would have thought that after its career navigating through the some of the most treacherous waters in the world, the world discoverer will meet the end of its days right here? I'm with John here. Uh, we are at Roderick Bay, and this is his small area and village, and he's a uh, going to explain about the, the Greg behind us. My friend uh, Walt Discoverer on the uh, year 2000, April 30, looked across and I saw the boat drift outside. While traversing the Sunfly Passage, the vessel struck a large uncharted rock. The captain, Oliver Cruz, quickly knew they were in trouble and recruited three local ferries to get all the passengers safely ashore. Rescue all the guests, 190 people. Every cloud has a silver lining, and this unfortunate disaster has become a controversial, iconic attraction for the lucky few that it make it here, and an income for local families. Captain, with the engineer, with the permission of the landowners, 6.30 p.m. in the evening, they came and reached the boat here. Over the years, removing and salvaging the boat proved to be quite an unprofitable venture. Salvage from Australia, Papua New Guinea and Fiji. They came and maintained the boat, and they started to pump the boat to be refloated. Within three days, the boat will be refloated, and uh, at the same time, if you heard that the ethnic tension took place in two provinces in Solomon Island, like Malaita Province and Gudol Canal. So they cannot manage to complete, to patch the boat. As the Australian High Commissioner say that the all Australian workers in Solomon must return back to, to Aussie for their safety. When they came back, they found that the ship was ransacked by the locals, so the world discoverer was declared a constructive loss. I don't believe that they want to maintain the boat in my thinking, because uh, it's better to replace or to pay a new boat rather than to maintain, to, more, to spend more expenses, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing this story. Yeah, anything you want to ask me beyond what I have said, who probes most work. Hello! They said the kids that they have never seen a, a, a baby pig, so we are showing peanut. Yeah. 
So this is John Ruka. I actually heard about him through Julia, who is a sailor, and she really recommended us to come here because of your beautiful family and everything. So, what is the name of this area? Uh, we always welcome all, all the people in the boat, and uh, we are very happy to see the boats coming like this. Feel at home. Feel free. Whatever you want. Stay cool in. The our paradise here in Haida. That's why we got a uh, time to stay, then we can organize the program for you. Oh, uh, that sounds wonderful. Thank you for your warm welcoming. Thank you very much too. going to watch a football game in town. Your name? Fraser. Nice to meet you. Yes. Oh. I'm John's wife. Oh, I'm oh cool. Nice to meet you too. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice <laughs> what do you think about the village? It's beautiful. I mean, just to see that everything is like handmade, like with the resources that they got here. And it's just stunning. For them it will be like a, just a random village, but for us it's like another piece of the lost magical paradise. And Everything's so clean and like so much attention to detail, like yeah. flowers and... Everything's like all the palm trees are neatly uh, like on the roof. It's very cool. <laughs> so where are we going now? Here, there's our schools here right now. These are the schools from your island? Yeah, uh, we uh, have five schools in our uh, yeah, you know, district. How long did it take it to make this school? One year and uh, six months. Is this your school? Yes. Do you like your school here? Yes. What are you reading? I'm reading a book about Kwasu, the little boy from the village. Kwasu was given a coin by the spirits of his ancestors and he used it for the wrong things. So the spirits took the coin away from him again. And then he learned that he apparently should always share everything with his family and work really hard. I think it's a pity that it's Saturday, so that there's no school day. Otherwise it would be cool to see all the kids learning. And I mean, this school is better than anywhere else. Have a look at outside. This view isn't too bad. Like hundreds of kids here. It looks pretty intense. I don't know how they know who's on which team because they're not wearing like jerseys. So I don't know how they know who they're gonna pass the ball to. And of course, Peanut is the star. Stay here forever, you and I together. I just wanna stay until the morning sun.
first day on Earth, I fell into your eyes. Look at how our galaxies collide. Next time in Expedition Drenched, diving and dancing made our day. We accepted John's invitation and let ourselves immerse in the rhythm of traditional dances and singing. Also, we submerged underwater for a special encounter, a mantis ring. Did you know that they have the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom? Where is Emily? Where is Emily? Where is Emily? Have you seen Emily? We lost Emily. We lost Emily. Second episode 24. It's always there every time people are crying. Jetty now for the Chanel, Kia. What are your feelings about crocodiles? I don't believe it though, I've seen one. I will pick like dying of eating too much chocolate maybe. Where are we going? We're going to can watch. Can you talk? Can you look at the camera, please? Then we dwell on our mistakes. That would be like drug for her. Yeah. Yeah. Crayons. I know this. No. Hair clip. Hair clip. Thank you. Mm. Go, Bina, go! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! 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 Dust and dirt, where are you going? Pray my love will leave the room. Pray my love will leave the room. Pray my love will leave the room. Oh! And she, she doesn't want, can you see like, she's like, yes, the sticky. <laughs> Wait, girl. Here is some info about the film.